Hey you right guys, Trish Munch Joey, and um, today we are watching and reacting to episode 5, I don't know, 5 or 6 of Scam Austin season 1. Uh, yeah, I'm literally currently moving at the moment, so sorry about the bare minimum amount of space in the Pathfinder, but yeah, literally I've come back here to watch the episode as I did with Scam Italia yesterday. I'm going to try and watch Scam France today as well, we'll see, um, but I don't know if that'll be up today, that might be up tomorrow. Uh, like I say, schedule and everything's going to be up in the air for the next couple of weeks until I get internet at the other place. Um, because I have to keep going back and forth and it's like finding the time to do so. Uh, but Scam Austin, like I say, loving it. So I'm happy to come back here to finish it up or which episode? I can't remember which episode it actually is. But I'm loving it. I think it's doing a great job. It's definitely getting better and better. So that's awesome to see. So if you enjoy, remember to leave a like. If you are new, remember to subscribe. And if you do want the full Uncle Reaction, to this episode as well as all the rest of the link to the Patreon page will be down below. But for now, my friends, let's do this. You know I shouldn't put that much powder on. But it's staying matte, and I'm feeling oily. Plus I have to highlight it. I'm not feeling oily. Put that much powder on, you know? Do you want to borrow my lip gloss? Actually, I'm not wearing lip gloss anymore because I read girls swallow approximately seven pounds of lip gloss in their life, and lip gloss is like pure pet, so it goes like straight to your hips. That's like literally the dumbest thing I've ever heard. It's true. I have only looked up in three days and I actually feel lighter. I'm sorry, I love these two. Those two are the best characters, Kelsey and uh, Joe. And I've said that every time so far. But... Sure? Yeah, if you want to watch us rehearse. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's new. What? I love watching you play. Alright, yeah, yeah, I'll text you. So these, everyone's just stood here awkward. She's so cute, oh my god. Don't know if I mentioned that either. That Joe's cute. Are you, are you all done? Um, yeah, I agree with that. Love you. <laughs> yeah, love you too. Okay. They look mortified. <laughs> Do you know how iconic it is? Start Shut up. Do you know okay, how no, iconic no, 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 it is? I agree, I agree. Do you know how iconic it is to start up a, a song with a rap? It's not iconic. <laughs> but I'm gonna do something like light. I don't oh, know if she's growing on yeah, And then y'all yeah, yeah. we'll all say no together and then start full on rapping. That's corny. They say I'm teeny really Now is What's exactly that? the right time to talk about gun control. Uh, yeah, hold on, hold on. Just what? chill, chill, chill. They say I'm a teenage rebel. What's the story? What? This be different. Uh, you tell me. Um, You're the one that's kind of acting sketch. Because she's a lot closer with Marlon than she would be with him. I think. Look, if I tell you this, you have to promise me that you won't tell Marlon. It. I mean. Sure. So you know, she's. Like real, she's gonna grasp. I'll destroy us if you say anything. What the fuck? Hmm. I promise I won't tell Marlon. Jordan? The football guy? Why do they call him Joe if his oh. name's Jordan? Oh, like J.O. Oh. Jordan. So, Jordan. Call him Jaw. Jordan. Like, you hooked up with a football guy? I was just a mess, and he was there. So it just kind of happened. And I would just chill. This is different. Like, would, well, it would have been different anyway because the fact that he has two friends. Uh, because you're extremely beautiful and like insanely cool. Shut up. You are. <laughs> I'm crazy. You are. I agree. She is very beautiful. Like I'm starting to appreciate her more and more. But now I'm actually kind of more jealous of him. Hey, uh, so you know yesterday when we were talking about Penetrator Joe and how he hooked up with someone at Spring Fling? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Maybe it was just an excuse because Daniel was too nervous to go on a date with me alone. Maybe, Kelsey, sure. <laughs> so, um, oh there's God. just his girlfriend then, right? That's it? You see that girl over there? Oh, no. She slept with one of the football guys. One of. And you see that girl over there? 
She also slept with one of the football guys. Yeah, one of them. That girl right there, that's how they mark you. Mark you? Oh my lord. Who you had sex with is named on the back. You're walking around like a living trophy. That's so great. Please go to the t-shirt. But how is anyone actually able to do that? I'll be with you. I love it. I always feel it's me there's something wrong with. I can't do this. I love it too much. So stupid. <laughs> hey, it's not. He's stupid. Not you. Look at me. Not you. Your toes feel like they're like. <laughs> <laughs> it hurts. I think you What's up? Understand. Hey, why are we having a dance meeting out here? Oh, dance meeting! Must no, no, no. They don't any dancing here. See, in two minutes, the football team will be oh, walking out. Oh, here we go. I'm gonna give Daniel his t-shirt back and let him know it's not okay to treat girls this way. Wait a minute, you're going to do what now? <laughs> I'm gonna teach him a lesson he won't forget. No, you can't do that. Who are you to talk? Well, I had good reasoning. Well, I have a good reason, too. We're taking back our respect. Oh, here we go. Are you with me? So, greatest for diversity. I think what Zoe is trying to say is that it's great that you want to tell him off like that. Maybe just don't do it in front of the whole team. Do it, do it, do it. Oh, no. See, I think they all need to hear this. Oh, God, she's going to do Wait, what if I don't want my respect back? <laughs> Oh, so you're, you're going to pretend that oh, you God. don't know what I'm talking about. Really? Okay, well, half the girls at our school walk around Missing. in this. Kelly. It's, it's Kelsey. Sorry. Kelsey. I'm really sorry, but... Oh, is he going to word I this one? some kind of misunderstanding. Can we complete twat, or...? Now, it may be my fault. If you really think that this T-shirt means that I look at you as some kind of trophy. It's gonna go so full on brutal. You're not pretty enough for that. Oh, the way you worded that was like a knife in the heart. Wow. Here we go, go on, go on. What on earth? Made you feel so insecure that you felt the need to trash an innocent sophomore girl like that? I love the pacing of this scene. Dude. I'm serious. No, I want to know. What happened to you to make you this insecure? You know what? I bet I can guess. Your parents never loved you. Oh my god. <laughs> Mommy never hung your artwork on the fridge. He's good. Are you gonna cry, mate? Daddy doesn't come to your games. Oh, even the lads are like. Ooh. Actually, I know. No, you didn't grow enough hair on your dick in middle school, and you were bullied for it. Right, guys? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Got him. Whatever it is. I suggest you get over it. Start behaving like a human being. Oh my god. I just thought she was doing that was insane. Move. Guys, I'm shocked. Oh, I'm shocked. I'm, I don't know what to say. I'm gonna try to do the walk. Okay. What's the same? I can't get over how cool you were yesterday. Same. I'm still yeah, not over it. Yeah, like I want to paint your face on my nails and just like scratch people with them. <laughs> 
he does always like to go deep. Oh, Wait, what? Oh, shit. Why are you tagged in this? No. Kelsey, didn't you say he was only hooking up with his girlfriend? Uh, Megan? You gotta run. Oh, no. He's gonna be a full on punch like it's how it was. Run, dude. <laughs> me. Check his face. Kelsey. <laughs> A lot of funny reactions. That's great. Good song choice. Grace is ready to knock the bitch out. That might be my favourite episode. I don't know. I can't be long with this review because I do have to go, but um, well, I've got to edit it and be quick about it. But the scene of where Grace ruined him it was insane. It was so good. The way she worded everything, took her time with it, just let it all out, dragged him through the dirt. I thought that was so well done, and I was really impressed with that. Oh my god! And again, I've said it so I've said it a lot um, since the start, but I love all five girls so much. I think they did a fantastic job casting all five of them. Um, they've just all got different personalities about them. They all have their funny moments, likable moments, and just like I say, I, I still need a little bit more to Grace, but that scene really did help with her. Um, and the Sonic character, I think we need a little bit more of her, but she's she's great. Like, they all have an, an even amount of screen time. They've even given Jo um, a lot, which she doesn't usually have, so uh, I love it. So good, so good. I'm really impressed with Scam Austin so far, I'm not going to lie. It's like, it's, we'll see, but it's doing well. It's doing really well. Like, literally, episode two, three, four, and now this one. Um, I, think this is, I think this is five. Uh, just been fantastic, absolutely fantastic. I'm feeling an 8.8 .8 out of 10 with this one. It was just so good, it was so good, so enjoyable. I loved it. I really loved that episode. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. Sorry I can't talk much about the episode for too long, but I really, I really did like that one. And yeah, I'll see you next week for episode 6. Hopefully I'll be in my own place by then, so yeah, that should be, should be back to normal for next week. But thanks for watching and until next time, peace.